If you haven't already done so, stop and read the question. Hit pause and then hit play when you're done reading the question. Okay, so assuming you've read the question, the key here is that we're asked to find something. What is it that we're asked to find? We're asked to find the rate at which manufacturing cost is changing with respect to time. Rate of change. We're asked to find a derivative. But what are we asked to find the derivative of? It's the rate at which the manufacturing cost is changing with respect to time. So for the manufacturing cost, I reread the question and I find out that the total cost is the C function. So I want the derivative of the C function. The problem is, as I continue reading it, I want the derivative in terms of time, T, but as you noticed, C is only given with Q, and so the input here is the number of rugs, not time. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm asked actually to find C prime of T, and the only way that we can do that is we're going to use the fact that to find the derivative of the cost function relative to time, which was not the original input, we can take the derivative of the cost function about Q, the number of rugs that are produced, and we can also take the derivative of the Q function relative to T. Now there's one other piece I need to watch out for as I go to do this. So I know I'm finding a C prime and I know I'm finding a Q prime if you want to write it in another format. We're told that T equals 3, so I can plug 3 in for the input of Q because T is the input. The problem is I cannot put a 3 in for the derivative of C. What I need to do is use the fact that since Q of T equals T squared plus 30T and we know that T is 3, I can plug this in and do the math. I've got 9 plus 90. I can see that Q equals 99, and Q is the input for C. So ultimately, this is what I want, and that's what I'm going to write on the next page. Okay, so I had to change pages for space, but we're trying to find C prime times Q prime, where once we get the derivative of C, we'll be plugging in 99, and once we get the derivative of Q, we will be plugging in a 3. So first thing I need to do is find the derivative of C, and as I go ahead and find the derivative in terms of the parts, I see that the derivative of C is 0 0.003 times Q squared plus 4, and the derivative of Q is 2 times T plus 30, but in this case I need to plug a 99 where Q is, whoops, and we lost our 3, where T is. So as I work this out, I end up getting 33.5. 403 for the derivative of cost relative to 99 rugs being made. And as I take the derivative of number of rugs made relative to time, I end up with 36. And I multiply these numbers together to get 1202.5. So I know that that number needs to go into my answer box. The only other thing I want to watch out for is the units. So if you remember, what we really wanted was C prime of T. So we wanted the manufacturing cost in terms of time. So our change in output divided by our change in input. Our output here is cost. Our input Whoops, sorry, that was supposed to be the word in, huh? One more. Our 
input was time. For our problem, cost is measured in dollars. And in this particular problem, time is measured in hours. So to write my final answer, the rate at which the manufacturing cost is changing with respect to time is 1,202.51, because I'm only answering two places to the right of the decimal, dollars per hour.